Hey there. Good evening. Here at Sunny Beach. I was here yesterday, later in the evening. Today, planning to go to Nessabar, which is down that way, just a few miles. But I wanted to show a bit more of uh, the uh, sunny beach scene, the tourist heaven or hell, depending on your perspective. What have we got here? Interesting. Uh... What in the world is this? I mean, obviously, something you sit under, did they have like, a bar here where there's like steps going in? Strange, what is going on here? Totally unexpected, I was just walking along and so two of them and then these little are these like places for a table? Whatever the heck this thing is, it was probably a pretty cool spot when it was in its prime. I'm guessing communist era looks at least 30 years old. Trippy, I will be curious to hear people's uh, comments on what exactly this is. My best guess is like a bar and another bar and then tables for seating. But uh, that could be totally wrong. So today is July 20th. It is currently 81 degrees Fahrenheit, that is 27 Celsius. I am staying in Sveti Vlas, which is back that way a few miles. I uh, walked out of my apartment there and walked up to the bus station and I was sitting there waiting for the bus. There were a few other people there. I think the bus was coming pretty soon but then that taxi driver pulled up there. I asked him how much for a ride here. It's only, you know, maybe three miles or something. And he said, how much? Back to me, like obviously they want to get as much as they can out of you. I said, 10 lev. That is five bucks. He said, 15. I said, okay, so $7. I don't know if that was the straight local price, but uh, not bad and it saved me maybe 15, 20 minutes of waiting for the bus, waiting to board the bus, the bus making stops, etc. got me going, so. And so this is the pedestrian area that I showed in my previous video last night. So I'm going to repeat this uh, area a little bit just because not everyone will have seen the other video and also we got more light. It is currently about like 6.15 or something, so still plenty of uh, sunshine. And then I will continue around to Nessabar. It is around the bay this way, a few more miles. And so I'm not sure if I'm going to uh, walk part way or catch a bus. The bus station is very close. Here is the Jack's Bar and Restaurant where I met Dimitar yesterday. How much? One love? One love. I can give you a uh, 50 50. Okay, change. Yes, okay. Here. Can you, can you? Yeah. That's okay. Maybe one, one more. 
Alright, let's find something. Gold, gold, gold. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right, it's about time that I did that. The first time that I saw those things was in uh, Georgia, the country of Georgia. And I had no idea what it was at first and eventually figured it out maybe just from people telling me in the comments. Especially when the, uh, the punching bag isn't down, then it's not really clear what happens. So I've now been seeing them like various places in Eastern Europe. I've only ever seen them in Eastern European countries. It's pretty fun, worth uh, 50 cents each hit there. Here is the crossroads. So if you happen to uh, see the last video, it is much, much quieter now. It gets a lot more happening later in the evening as it cools down. It's still pretty warm. Just a, a quick shot of the beach here. True to its name, a very sunny beach. A lot sunnier a couple of hours ago. A lot hotter, I'm sure. But uh, all considering, it isn't too crazy hot compared to other parts of Europe that are roasting right now. At least it's only in the 80s. Nice, uh, cool breeze coming off the Black Sea here. So Sveti Vlas, where I'm staying, is somewhere out there. And that is Nesabar right there, where I'm going next. It is just totally quiet compared to yesterday. So those are super expensive. 15 minutes for 15 leva, that is $7 for just 15 minutes. Especially for Bulgaria, that just seems really expensive, but uh, obviously tourist prices. So this is Morris Beach. My last name is Morris. And here on the left is the uh, Morris restaurant where I ate with Dimitar. Good atmosphere, good service, great music, terrible food. That is an hour off, it is actually 6.34. But maybe I just made a mistake getting uh, fish and chips and some of their other dishes are better, I'm sure. But in general, these kind of places do not have the uh, best quality of food, of course. So that is really the end of the uh, action for now. Let's see what happens up ahead with this path. Maybe I'll end up back on the main street and then uh, catch a bus from there. I wonder how much these hotels are. Mine is not cheap. Well, it's all relative. $73 a night, but an apartment with a uh, separate bedroom, nice lounge area, full kitchen, great view. So, you know, depends on what you compare it to. 
for Bulgaria, that is the most expensive room that I have had, but uh, obviously a lot of places it would be a hell of a lot more. Hundreds of dollars probably for the same sort of thing on the beach. More tourist stuff. So an electric bike is 40 lev or $20 for an hour. 90 lev, 45 bucks for three hours. Not cheap either. So I'm going to uh, get over to the main street, catch a bus, I'm getting hungry. Eat in Nesabar, which is supposed to be a uh, more quaint, authentic scene, an old town with like cobblestone streets and older buildings. So, Sunny Beach here was basically just like a tiny little village and then it was created as a uh, tourist resort area back in the 50s, I think like 1958. They just kind of designated it and said, okay, we're going to build it up. So here is the main street. Going to walk to the next bus stop. Looks like this is the place. Let's see how long it takes. I guess we're here. There's Sunny Beach. Nesabar Svetivlas. That was about three minutes, but is it the right bus? Uh, Burgas, oh no, that's... Oh, Nesabar, okay, maybe. Nesabar? How good are you? Here we are at the Starry Grad, the old town. And yes, you can walk across the bridge there. Not exactly a bridge, more like a walkway. An isthmus, would that be an isthmus? It's probably man-made. All right, this is definitely very, very different from out there. Really, really nice scene so far. What a contrast from the tackiness, the commercialization, the new but kind of falling apart. New buildings do not age as well. Just wait another 500 years. What's those things gonna look like? Very nice, look at this great little harbor. Now we're back in the ancient world. A journey into the past with modern conveniences. Caravana 
Благослове спасте прагука солнечна и мене, хора по Седноморска разпочна до пътя е бреча обратно. So that might be the Botasvati Vlas, where I'm staying, which would be perfect, but the last one is at 7. I think it's right about 7 now. Straight across there. So I'll be busting it back, or maybe a taxi. Mexicano! Interesting. Hello. It's a Mexican restaurant? And also local food, or? Yeah. I see. I'm just walking around right now, so thank you. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> What about the beard? Yeah. <laughs> Yours is better. <laughs> Where from? America. America? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah good. And you from Nesibar or? Yeah. Uh, you live here? No, no, no. I said uh, you, you from Nesibar? No. I... Uh, uh, city Haskova. Has but uh, Has I work, uh, work here. I see. What kind of work? Yeah. Looks like and, you're the uh, captain. To, to, uh, winter and uh, uh, Bansko. Bansko. I was, I was in Bansko. Bansko, nice. Of course, of course. One minute, brother. Your uh, Santa Claus. Santa Claus, winter. I see. One hundred photo with me every every day. Yes. And in uh, summertime, you're sea captain. Yeah. Uh, Wintertime, Santa photo, Claus. Photo sea. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, but uh, uh, it's, uh, we, uh, summer. One hundred photo uh, with me every day. I see every brother, day, every day, hundred pictures. Uh, very good homemade dishes, no expensive, and uh, the old mill. Yeah, very good. Uh, Looks uh, great. Ter terrace and uh, captain give present Rakika. Oh, Raki, Raki, uh, Raki, yeah. Good, good. Uh, I'm going to walk you around can, first. Uh, yeah, okay. Maybe I come wait. back. I'm getting hungry. So. No, maybe uh, just later. Okay, we wait. I'll for be you. back. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Благодаря. <laughs> See you later. See you. This is really nice. I should have stayed here. It's just as far from the uh, sunny beach. Just a couple of miles. What have we got here? The church is built alternately of stone blocks and brick ranges. The facade decoration is accomplished in ceramic plastic style. The church was constructed in 13th century and was used until 19th century, so before the fall of Constantinople. So this is Byzantine era, kind of the end of the Byzantine. Well, 13th century is 1200, so 200 years before the fall of Constantinople in 1453. And this must be a church, the main church. A basilica built at the end of 5th, beginning of 6th century. Wow! The present appearance of the church is from the beginning of the 9th century. The church is a part of a residential complex of Nesabar's bishop. Wow, this is an old one. Still Byzantine, but much earlier.
And another Byzantine era church, it looks like. The style is unmistakable. So what era is this one? First half of the 14th century, so 1300 something. Again, towards the end of the Byzantine Empire before the tragic fall of Constantinople, Istanbul, no longer Constantinople, as the song goes. What a cool old town. And I think this is yet another church that I haven't been to yet. Lots of them in this small little village. Tenth century. Interesting how the style did not change all that much from what was the earliest one, like the fifth century to the thirteenth century, over a thousand years, and then almost the same. And I'm now heading back to the restaurant that I promised to stop by, the Old Mill. With the fishing Santa Claus. Byzantine. Built and decorated in 1609. Interesting. The bell there it is, the restaurant Old Mill.